How's it going everybody? John here. Hope you're having a great day and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play your song by Elton John. I'm going to take you through a finger style version. We're going to be using a capo on the third fret and this is what I would play if I was accompanying a singer or if I just wanted to sing this myself. Now I am going to use a thumb pick but you can do the same thing without a thumb pick and just use your fingers or you could also strum the chords if that's more comfortable for you as well. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, we post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel. The goal of this channel is to reach as many people as possible and help the world get better at guitar. So thanks for hitting the thumbs up. With that said, let's get into the video. Your song by Elton John. Let's break this down. I've got a capo on the third fret and I'm gonna be playing this song in the key of C even though the concert pitch is, is E flat. But uh, I'm gonna use two different finger picking patterns and we're gonna go through three different sections. The first section is the intro and we're gonna play it like this at the top. We start the verse. It's a little bit funny. So I'm using three different shapes here, a C, and then an F over C. And then I'm just gonna leave my third finger down and play G over C. And then back to F over C. So I've got my standard C chord, then I'm putting my pinky on and bringing my second finger down to go to that F over C. G over C is like that. And back to F over C. Now each chord is lasting one bar. A one, two, three, four, one, two, Four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four. Now for the finger picking pattern here, this is the first pattern that I would play at the top and it's gonna go like this. So we're gonna start with a pinch on the A and the B strings. Then we're gonna go to the D string, then the G string. go back to the A string, then the B string, then the D string. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. So that's going to last for one bar there. So one E and a two E and a, or you get one and two and three and four and depending upon how you're counting it. So it could be a two B pattern, could be a whole measure, but for our purposes, probably think of those as eighth notes for one measure. One and two and three and four and. And then we're gonna go to the next chord, F over C. One and two and three and four and. And we'll apply that to the changes. So all together. Now we're gonna continue that pattern for the first verse, and we're gonna play this. So there's a number of chords there. Let's break it down bar or four bars at a time. We're gonna last one bar per chord. So we're gonna go C, then to F major seven. And I do that with this little F major seven and then I put my thumb there on the low string, first fret. Then G and E minor. Now I'll be applying this finger picking pattern that we learned from the intro. But I'm modifying the thumb to move with the bass notes or the root notes of the chord. So C, E 
you know, if I'm playing a G, it's gonna come up, but I keep the pattern the same. Except for, I on the F major seven, I do like that sound where I play the high string there, so it's like, it's a little bit funny. It's just nice to hear that major seven. So there I pinch the outer strings. That's the only variation, just to give it a kind of a jazzier sound. It's a little bit funny. Then the rest is the same. This feeling inside. Then we go to A minor. And then I put the G in the bass. So most people play it like this. You can add the pinky. Then I like the thumb here. And F major 7. So that was A minor with an F sharp in the bass. So we're walking the bass down. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. It's a genius songwriting. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Then we go to a C, but put the G in the bass. Then G. Now on the recording, it's can do like an E over G sharp, but it's probably easier just to play E7 here and you know let let the bass get that note. So E7, then A minor. So that was C over G. E7, A minor. And then the last four bars. That was a bar of C to a bar of D minor 7, which is from the D string down, open, 2, 1, 1. And then F, then a bar of G sus. So here's my G, a lot of times I just do that with my third finger, and I'm going to put my first finger on the first fret of the B string. And then open G. So. everything again, I'll play it again. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no, or a man, walk the bass down. C over G, no it's not much, but E7, A minor. C, I'd buy a D minor 7. Now this time, the second time, we're going to go, this one's for you. So what happens there is we play a bar of F, and instead of going to G sus like we did the first time, we're just going to go to C, and then C sus, C. And this leads us into the chorus here. A lot of times I'll just strum those chords like this, one, two, three. Into the chorus. So that would just be half notes. Now here's the chorus. We're gonna switch finger picking patterns here and play some new chords. Here we go. So we played a four bar progression that repeats. So we're going to play G over B to A minor, then D minor to F. Now I did switch the finger picking pattern here. I went to this pattern. And once the groove of this song sort of settles in, the drums come in, I like this finger picking pattern. So it's. One and two and three and four. So that's gonna be A string, G string, D string, B string. One and two and, and then A string, G string, D string. One and two and three and four.
chords sounds like this. go to A minor and do the walk down progression again. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. Now here we just hit this F6. This is an F chord, but I put my pinky on the third fret of the B string. And then we finish with how wonderful life is while you're So that's C over E, that's a C chord, but I put the E in the bass, and then F, then stay there, then G sus to G. And here I'm going to go to the pattern, so I'm sort of pinching these chords and letting, uh, letting them ring, and then while you're in the world, and then there I go back to the finger picking pattern and then intro. So once I start that secondary pattern, that finger picking pattern, I stay on it till the end of the song. There you go guys, that's a breakdown of how to play your song by Elton John. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, I've got a free gift for you in the description below. If you're interested in playing some lead playing and learning more about soloing, I've got a book for you that's over a hundred pages long called Melodic Expressions. It's a book that I wrote that you can get completely for free. If you want to support me, you can buy it on the iTunes bookstore for $15 or you can get it for free at the link down below. Make sure you're subscribed, have fun practicing this song, and we'll see you in the next one.